Hello and welcome to my channel. Some of my viewers will know that in 2020 I made a short video about my old Marina 140 boat and how I had regretted selling it back in the late 1980s almost immediately. Well the good news is Mark, my son and I found one for sale down on the south coast between Portsmouth and Southampton and this is our very first trip out. It was a fantastic day and soon I will make a full length video about the boat and what I've done to it since owning it. Thanks for watching. So here we are, the very first trip on the Marina 140. All kitted out, ready to go. Got the sun canopy up because it's exceptionally hot. So this is going to be our first fishing trip on the boat. We've not skied or done anything on this boat at all. Certain that everything's going to be okay. The power trim motor down there has all been replaced. That was a big problem with it. It took months to get hold of that motor. And it was a pig of a job to actually replace it. And we're kitted out today for fishing. Are you looking forward to your first trip on the boat? Yes. Are you going to do some fishing? Yes. Ah, oh, that's going to be good. We've got a life jacket for you, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to be going in a minute now. Here we are, on the setway. <laughs> Got Danny over there holding the boat on. Mark's gone to take the trailer back up. Very, very fast running time. Got Captain Harry there. Hello, Harry. And uh, you can see how fast this tide is running today. It's ripping it through. So, just waiting for Mark to come down. And we've got a free launch today. Because the man in the hut is not there. There we are, engine's running, everything's good. Just need Mark now, and away we go. Very different boat to the other boat, the CJR. The engine is so much better having an electric start, makes a huge difference. Here we are on board the boat with no name really. That's early Cheers. morning breakfast. It's called Skidaddle, that's the real name of the boat. But uh, we're doing the usual thing that we used to do on Bethany Lee actually. And have a nice morning breakfast. <laughs> the only thing is, we've got the clown running around tripping everyone up. <laughs> Tripping over the rods. So we're sort of anchored off of, I don't know, Westcliff. We wanted to get out there to the middle grounds, but at the moment it's not possible because big mud bank. And I can't be bothered to go all the way around, so we're just going to sit and wait it out. This canopy is fantastic, it keeps all of the sun off of you. The only problem is it makes it very hard to get around the front to put the anchor up, which is what Danny did for us. We was also concerned about whether that anchor was going to work, wasn't we, Mark? But it seems to be doing the job. It seems to be doing the job. Maybe I should set up some GPS figures on there. Couple see as well. some beer whether it's actually doing yeah. the job. Ah, what was you going to say? So you need to ditch a couple rod holders and add some beer can holders. Could do that, but the entry of these they've padded the sides there, so it's going to make it a little bit difficult. But the engine's performing really well. It's the first run. Um, what did you say the top speed was? Uh, I think we're, most of us is 23 knots. 23 well, knots. Under full power. And it's been recorded at 30, so we're just a little bit down on the top speed, but it's fast enough for us. All right, time to crack on. Jet ski, Harry. They can be fun for about 10 minutes. We got one on. Uh, no, 
That's a shame. Danny is the person to christen the boat and he's got a bass. I don't know whether he's keeping it or whether he's putting it back or what he's doing. We've got a rag there but I don't know what's going on with the boat. We've got some kind of alarm come up. So we've got a fish now. Yeah, a fish. Right, so we are now going to move inshore. We've got hardly any bait in. Then he's going to go and do the anchor. Which is a bit of a task. It's not that easy. Drive the boat, Harry. Oh, canopy. Yeah, I've got it here, it should be right.
fish on. I don't think it's very big. Pepper. So here we go. The first fish that I've caught. Hey, look at that, Ben, you see it on camera, it's so small. <laughs> I've got one fish, I've got to get it out now. Try and save the poor thing. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, fish. busy today. There's loads of people on the streetway. I'm worried about getting these car keys a little bit wet. Yeah, and no, I think it will. Alright, Danny, you back should back. be able to step ashore very shortly. I'm letting the wind and the tide take you on without the engine. If you let me know when you're ashore. Excellent, well done. Thank you. Hold us on there. We can get Harry off because he doesn't feel very well. Unless he wants to stay there. Come on. There you go, Harry. Hey? Eh? Oh, that's alright. Uh, right, if we bring the trailer down, we'll get it on. What speed, though? Coming down or going a bit late to be going in, isn't it? You can just wheel it down, Mark, and then we'll, we'll yeah, and then we'll rope and bring the car down. We'll rope and pull it rather than bring the whole car down. Yeah, yeah. There's so many people down there that we've decided we're going to push the trailer down and then just pull it out. There's just people everywhere. It's ridiculous. I think when the people work here. At the council, they probably make people all organise themselves a little bit better. Free for all. So it's a bit of a free for all at the moment, and they're going to have to move out of the way. Because, oh, yep, yeah, okay, no way. I'm pushing the trailer down. Here they go in for their swim. They're cooled off. After the day on the boat. Nah. Looks like someone's chickening out. You said you wanted to go for a swim. And me? No, I wasn't so old. It's only shallow, look. Not really deep, is it? You're going to walk to South End?
it, our first day on the boat. Everything went pretty well marked, didn't it? Engine run like a dream, there's no problems with that at all. Um, just a load of idiots on the slipway, making it more difficult to get in than it needed to be. Just another six feet of water and we'd have got it on a lot easier. Got water coming out, but that's just normal. So we are going to go home and relax now. Thank you Ian for the car. Well we've stopped on the way home because what's happened is as we were driving along the seafront we found somebody selling ice creams. So we've got ice creams to finish the day off. <laughs> oh very nice, thank you very much. Look at that. A nice ice cream. Rossies I might add. Just to finish the day off. Thank you very much. Thank you.